Coming up on your Friday sports update, we'll take a look at how students stay fit during the semester and students who not only learn martial arts on campus, but even train for tournaments. All this and more, Scroll Digital Sports starts now. Let's go to this week's update with Kelly Furrows. Kelly? Well, Tracy Ochocinco was released from the Patriots this week. The New England Patriots spent Thursday trying to trade wide receiver Chad Ochocinco, but decided to release him instead. The Patriots filled up transaction day with trade conversations with other teams until the deadline. Despite these efforts, there just was not enough interest. Ochocinco wasn't released because of his talent or ability. His release was attributed to his inability to pick up the Patriots playbook. Apparently, he had been struggling to do so. However, sources say that the 34-year-old still has the physical ability to play and his football career isn't over. The NBA Finals are underway with the Oklahoma City Thunder taking Game 1 from the Miami Heat with a score of 105-94. to The Oklahoma City Thunder hosted the first two games of the series. This is the first time in their short four-year history that they have competed in the NBA Finals. This is Lindsay Rhodes, Scroll Digital. With so many fun activities at your fingertips, don't be caught up in your apartment during the summer season. There were a lot of cool things in that, in that package that she gave us. I know. I was so impressed, and I, I'm looking forward to doing a few of those, yeah. few of those things this summer. Being a daredevil, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, it wasn't a problem for Lindsay Rhodes, yep. right? Well, that's going to do it for the sports update. Thanks for watching. I'm Kelly Furrows. And Kelly Furrows, thanks for watching Scroll Digital Sports, where we keep you up to date on what's kicking off around campus. The 4th of July brings many traditions. There are the usual traditions like parades, picnics, and fireworks. Many, however, don't know about a 1916 tradition involving hot dogs. Nathan's Famous Hot Dogs has been holding its annual hot dog eating contest, where 20 contestants line up and have 10 minutes to eat as many hot dogs as they can. This year, Joey Chestnut won the men's division, eating 68 hot dogs. Chestnut has won six years in a row and is now tied for the longest win streak in hot dog eating history. Chestnut walked away from the contest $10,000 richer and 20,000 calories heavier. Now let's go to Kelly Furrows as she catches us up on what's going on in the NBA and NHL playoffs. Thanks, Tracy. The NBA playoffs are continuing this week with Game 7 matchup between the Boston Celtics and the Philadelphia 76ers that will be tipping off on Saturday. The winner of that game will advance to the conference finals to face the Miami Heat starting on Monday. The Western Conference Final Series is set with the Antonio Spurs and Oklahoma City Thunder meeting up Sunday to start Game 1 of the series. San Antonio got to the finals by sweeping the Utah Jazz and the Los Angeles Clippers. The Thunder made it to the finals by sweeping the Dallas Mavericks and defeating the Los Angeles Lakers. Nicholas Lidstrom re retired quietly after 20 spectacular seasons with the Detroit Red Wings, leaving a legacy of greatness on and off the ice. The 42-year-old Swede set an NHL record by playing 1,564 games with a single team. Lidstrom was named the NHL's best defenseman last year for a seventh time since 2001. Kelly Froes with today's sports updates. Thanks, Tracy. Uh, Tuesday, the day for many college football fans had finally arrived as the BCS Oversight Committee unanimously approved the 14 playoff that will begin in 2014. The BCS will be replaced by a playoff system. With Rexburg's relatively low crime rates, many women become comfortable in their small town surroundings. Unfortunately, that leaves them with very little knowledge on how to defend themselves from an attack. Luckily, BYU-Idaho offers RAD, a four-week course that is designed to help students learn how to protect themselves in dangerous situations. Also known as Rape Aggression Defense, RAD teaches young women how to respond and keep themselves protected during an attack. Ten years ago, you could have taken a nap anywhere on campus and not have to worry about a thing. Today, you could find your picture on Instagram. It's called BYU-Idaho Sleeps. It's a student-run Instagram profile that compiles pictures of students who nod off in between classes. Well, here's something a little bit different. BYU-Idaho offers water aerobics, where students can do different types of water workouts and activities, and even though they're underwater, they still feel the burn. Full digital. Thanks, Sam. That looks like a lot of fun. Now we're going to turn it over to Tracy Flatt for some sports updates. HL, the Los Angeles Kings await the winner of the New Jersey Devils and the New York Rangers as the Devils have a 3-2 lead against the Rangers and a Game 6 win will advance the Devils to the Stanley Cup Finals against the Kings. The Kings advance to the Finals by defeating Vancouver, sweeping St. Louis Blues and defeating the Phoenix Coyotes to win the Conference Finals. Well, that's going to do it for this sports update. Thanks for watching. I'm Kelly Furrows. And I'm Tracy Flat. Scroll Digital continues online at BYUICOM.net. Have a great weekend.